This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Case IH4440 Parrot. This is a self-propelled fertilized and herbicide sprayer. Now this mod has been around for a while. In fact, I remember seeing it in Farm Sim 17 just really didn't use it that much because it seemed to have an issue with hired help. Uh, but that has been corrected. And Carl Farms has taken this model uh, that LBJ Media had released in Farm Sim 17 and is now offering it in Farm Sim 19. So I have uh, taken a look at LBJ's um, Facebook. And it doesn't look like he has released this in Farm Sim 19. I looked back, and uh, the most recent post I see of his is sometime last year, just about a year from now. Um, so it doesn't look like he's overly active in the modding community at the moment. And I went back many, many months in posts, and I really didn't see this being released in 19. So I think Carl Farms may have brought it into 19. Uh, this is the version 2.0 release. Uh, there's a link in the description below to get that from his Facebook. Uh, and he has done a lot of changes. So let's take a look at this thing in the store. So we go to vehicles and then crop protection. Of course, have the two in-game items, Thara Imperator and the Rubicon 9000. Then we have the Patriot, which is really sized between these two. Uh, as far as storage tank capacity, three hundred and twenty-five thousand nine hundred dollars, three hundred thirty-five horsepower, five hundred thirty-liter fuel tank, thirty-five mile per hour road speed, and fifteen mile per hour uh, working speed, and a thirty-six and a half meter working width as one of the options. Let's take a look at the configuration options here. So we have a tank capacity of forty-five hundred liters. Or we could upgrade that to a 6,000 liter tank capacity. We have a choice of Michelin tires or Trelleberg tires. Now, one thing that I did notice is it rides in the ground a little bit. Kind of looks like it's running on flat tires. So I don't know how, how easy that is to basically make it so it bumps up a little bit, but it's a little bit below the ground surface. And we'll see that kind of as we progress through the video. We have Michelin and Trelleberg, as I said, and then we have Standard, Rear Dual, All Dual. And we have the same options on Michelin, Standard, Rear Dual, All Dual, back to Narrow, Narrow Rear Dual, Narrow All Dual, Standard. Then we have Spreader Bar 36 meters, 120 foot boom. And then we have a bigger option. We have a 40 foot, 40 meter boom, or 132 foot boom. Got a couple different boom lengths and a couple of different tank size options. Let's hop in this thing and take a look on the inside. Start it up, we've got some information displays. like how the display there at the bottom kind of boots up on, <coughs> on the pillar. You can see that we have a engine temperature. Also have a fuel rate indicator. The engine RPM, we have a speed. Also repeated down at the bottom screen. We've got an animated joystick there. We have animated foot throttle brakes and then we have an animated shifter there of course our steering wheel is animated something else that we do have is we have suspension we're going to see this as we go through a field take a look at the guy's seat i don't know if i'll be able to replicate it in here 
Take a look at the lights. Our first stage lights. Second stage rear lights. Third stage lights. The only lights that don't light up are those there on the top. That's because they are our hazards, or our blinkers. Left and right. Rear. See them also on the rear boom. Brake lights. Hazards. Let's get a couple pallets of fertilizer just to show this filling. As far as the model goes, it, it's showing its age a little bit. I think that's why I said this was kind of a convert over from 17 because we do have kind of the solid nose versus the uh, the mesh nose that is more common in 19. Take this up to a test field and see how this thing runs. Take a look at how it unfolds. And there's all kinds of cool mouse functions on this thing. In-cab visibility is real good. He does list on his Facebook page that he's added wiper animations. So if it rains, then the wipers should show up. And do their wiping action. Oh, look at that. We do have light indicators on the pillar and a beacon indicator. Left and right blinkers. So let's go and put um, some dirt on this. Put full dirt. Now I do think the dirt is a bit excessive in my opinion. On this. Got a pretty heavy dirt mask on it. Take the dirt off, and then let's add some wear. Full wear. Pretty heavy wear on it also. Not so excessive that it's entirely, you know, without paint. So I think it's a bit on the hard side. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to that level, though. It may take quite a while to get to that level of wear. Take it back. Now, take a look at this unfold animation. This is a really cool unfold animation. It takes quite a while to do. We're going to unfold it. First, the booms tip up a little bit. They spread out. Again, this is our shorter boom. Then they flip out. And then they flip up. Look at that massive, massive spread. So let's take a look at our mouse controls. So we left click, up and down. We'll tilt the spray boom down. Okay. Now right mouse button up and down. We'll angle this. We could do this, kind of get it lower and flat we wanted. Bring it back up here. Now other options. Left click, left and right. Raises and lowers the left boom. So depending on your terrain you might want to raise that up so you don't dig it in the ground. Right mouse button left and right. Raise and lower the right side of the boom. Again, the same capabilities of raising it up and down out of the ground. And now when we turn it on, 
Take a little nozzles. So we've got a blue and a green nozzle, and we've got spray coming out of both of those. Higher help. See if this is working with a hired helper. And you can see what I mean about how it looks like it drives in the ground a little bit. But take a look at the cab suspension. We kind of got like an air ride seat there. Wheels dirty up pretty quick. This works with herbicide and liquid fertilizer. Have him go ahead or her go ahead and do a turn. You guys, again, this is from Carl Farms. This is the Case IH Parrot 4440 version 2. Uh, there will be a link in the description to his Facebook posting where you can download it. But I'm really excited and eager to, uh, to use this thing. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll kind of be a little forgiving on the, uh, the front nose, and I think it's more kind of a uh, FS17 model that's come forward. Works good with hired help. Lots of options. Lots of configuration details. You can really customize it to however you want it. So guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of Ace IH4440 Parrot. And until next time, happy farming. Please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.